Welcome Virgo, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with uh, using the Avalon Magic Cards, the Wild Child Oracle and this deck that I have no name for. Uh, it does have a name but um, I was given it with a guidebook ages, ages ago. I don't have the book anymore but I don't know the name of it anymore so yeah. Um, so whenever you see this video is when it is right for you. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements in your chart. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so Virgo. Three cards for Virgo, please. Three cards for Virgo. Excellent. First card for Virgo. One more card, there we go. Only one, we only want one. Let's put that back and get one more. Thank you. Okay, so actually that's not right. Don't feel like that's right. There we go. There we go, thanks. Okay. the first card that was the next card okay so this got writing on the back but I'm going to see what it is I get from the card first okay oh I feel like Virgo this is definitely there's a new beginning to be had here is this is about um you filling up your cup with all the good stuff okay really focusing on what that is filled with okay so that um when you meet someone in a um partnership in whichever you know, the, usually a romantic relationship, right? Could be a friendship, could be um, with, to do with business. You're going to know what's in your cup and you're going to expect nothing less than to have that matched. Okay, so I really love this. Um, and this is really going deep within, right? Deep into the soul to let that radiate. Let your let your um, light be, be seen, let it shine. Right, so let's have a look. Let's have a look what it says. And often what will happen is I'll get stuff from the front, but it's different from the back, which is great because we get more information. Okay, so welcome to welcome the solitude. It is time to replenish your weary soul. Okay. So maybe you're feeling a little bit battered. Oh, is battered the right word? depleted okay so two cards for this card here for virgo please two cards here welcome to welcome the solitude okay so two cards for virgo for this card please whoop there we go flying out like we love okay so cosmic child all righty great this is neat. Oh, I love this. This is really connecting in. Look at her. And I love the energy of these two here. Absolutely going within here. Connecting, right? There's this connection. And we've just also had this new moon. So great time to set your intentions and um, really think about what it is that you want, what it is that you want to grow, um, what you want to plant and um, see blossom in your life, okay? Um, so Cosmic Child, give me two cards for Cosmic Child for Virgo, please. One. <coughs> Love it. We've got the three of wands here. One more card for, okay. I don't know what that second card is, but anyhow. Okay, so just had to clear my throat. Right, so three of wands here. I I feel like there's this necessary pause in the journey right now. Even though the journey it's interesting because there's a new beginning here. Oh, okay, I see. It's a pause at, at the before you begin the new journey. Got it. Okay, and um, 
the three of wands can be about waiting for your ships to come in right um and i feel as though this pause is going to help you to see things clearer it's going to help you observe and work out which ship you actually want to get on okay because i feel like there's going to be options for you potentially and um, it's really important for you to get clear as to what um, what direction you want to go in. What journey do you want to take in your life, right? Um, so, yeah, this is cool. Okay, so Princess of Swords. This could be about you learning something new. Um, I also feel like Virgo. This is about you learning about the truth of who you are, the truth of your soul. Okay, um, but yeah, some of you could be um, studying something. <clears throat> but what I love about this is she's looking intensely at this scroll here. And, um, and I feel like this learning about yourself and this sort of this connection to the cosmos in a sense um, is going to help you with a transformation which this new br beginning brings in, okay? So we have crossroads here, I love this. Yes, deciding which direction to go in, deciding which ship to jump on, right? Deciding which path to take. At the moment, um, some of you may feel a little bit vulnerable, um, but because, you know, obviously when you are deciding which path to go on, it's not always clear. You don't, you can't see the road ahead. You don't know um, what's um, around the corner. And that is natural to feel a bit anxious and a bit scared of that. Um, any new beginning can be scary. So don't beat yourself up for that, okay? I think the important thing here is to really connect in with yourself, okay? Connect into the heart space and let the heart lead the way, because often the mind will come up with six million scenarios, and it can be very confusing, but the heart knows, the heart is connected with the soul, the heart is, you know, yeah, the heart, is, what I've been showing here, is this connection, The connection from the heart to the universe. <clears throat> and so it, it's like whatever it is that you your soul is here to. Okay, no, let me start that again. Whatever your life purpose is here, your heart knows, your soul knows. Okay, so yeah, anyway. Crossroads, two cards for crossroads, please, for Virgo. One flipped over here. Oh, lots of swords. Okay, so we've got the five of swords here, and um, we have the king of swords as well. Love it. Okay, so with this five of swords, um, yeah, this is this feeling defeated, actually. Defeated and depleted. Um, it's really interesting because for some reason I feel like this um, is reminding me of the Ten of Swords. So some of you may have been quite hurt about something or feel like you've been absolutely wiped out. Um, but here's, here's the thing, right, is this one here is about to get hammered by these swords. But we've got the King of Swords here who is surrendering. You know, he... He has fought the good fight. He knows um, what it has taken to become the king. Okay, he is standing in his truth of um, he's he's not got a shield up there. He's not he's not protective of him. He's not needing to defend himself because he knows his truth. He's standing in that right, and that's sort of the energy that I feel like would be really good for you to take on right now. Um, yeah. And I want to say, Virgo, is um, 
to be very, very clear with your communication at the moment, okay? Um, so that, that there's no... Well, make sure you're communicating, first off, your needs um, and just just what is going on for you. And that may be really hard for you at times, Virgo, um, but I feel like this is necessary right now uh, because it's such a transition in your life that go, this solitude, it can be, with, sorry, get my words right. Going into the solitude here, it's easy to stay in there and not communicate with those around you, okay? You may need some time, so that's what you need to communicate. To say, I need a bit of time to myself. I'll contact you when I've, you know, done what I need to do. So, yeah, in that regard, um, you know, or whatever it is, so that there's no miscommunication, um, just be very clear and it may be hard for you because you may not even be clear and that's okay just say that I don't even know what I need right now I don't know what's going on right now but I think right now I need to do this x y and z you know so yeah okay so this one here she's got this cloak on this cloak here of feathers feel like this is representative of this transformation and um yeah there's some sort of growth here as well but there seems to be a common thread some sort of common thread whether that's throughout your life or throughout your lifetimes there's some sort of common pattern that keeps repeating so maybe this is why this, this solitude here is needed. Uh, this says, spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so wrong deck. Let's get this deck here. Okay, so two cards for spend time reclaiming your balance. There you will find peace for Virgo, please. We've got Mirage, love it, and we've got Dawn, oh okay, right, yep, 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 okay, so this card here, um, I feel like if you make sure that you take the time that you need, right, to replenish your soul, it, things are going to get a lot clearer, okay, it's not going to be as difficult for you to decide which direction to go in, Okay, because this here is also representing a new beginning. I'm seeing the moon up here, but what is clear here is the entire moon. It's not in the, it's, you know, it may not be lit up by the sun, but there's no doubt that it's still part of the whole. And that's something in there, isn't it? I think, Virgo, it's really important for you to understand the connection between everything um there's no separation we are all one right and um and just as this mirage here is showing it's you know this looks like water but it's desert and there's this path here and there's a person here i hope you can see that this person seeing this desert and maybe um, there's a bit of and this is the thing with the communication right it's kind of like once you tap into once you replenish right you'll be able to see things a lot clearer and you'll be able to communicate even with yourself a lot clearer yeah um, and the other thing I want to say about this is I feel like this is going to allow the love of your soul to radiate out, okay, um, which is very important for you to do because there's a, a life purpose and a path that you need to go on or that you are on 
I feel like you're, you're about to embark upon this journey um, and you you need to work out what it is that you need to take with you. Um, and I feel like this, doing this here, is going to allow you that every time you need to stop and replenish yourself, you're going to um, know how to replenish yourself. Okay, so it's kind of like, I guess here's an example, right, to make that a bit clearer. It's like going on this journey into the desert. You know, you know, you know that taking like a PlayStation or um you know something something like that right it's not going to help you on your journey what's going to help you is water so you're going to you're going to pack what it is that you need to help you in those times that you need to replenish to carry on along the journey okay so give me two cards for mirage here for virgo please two cards for mirage for virgo and this is really you know a bit, oh here we go with the talent Love it. Look at that. Just gets me every time. Um, Mirage. Is there any more cards? Yeah, I thought so. Um, okay, so we've got the Queen of Wands here. We've also got the Ace of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Queen of Hearts. We've got the Ace of Wands and we've got the Eight of Hearts. Okay, so this is great because, yes, 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 because this is about you making the decision. Okay, so there's something that you need to walk away from, that you're deciding to walk away from in, in order to start this new beginning, because this new beginning is something that you're passionate about and is your life purpose. It 100% is, but I feel like maybe some of you are questioning whether it is or not, okay? Um, and the Queen of Hearts here, she knows. She's she's done this before. She's been on this journey here, so she knows all about that. And, um, and I feel like this is the energy that will be really good for you to embrace. Again, she knows what's in her cup, right? She knows what to fill it with. And um, in that regard, she knows that she needs to fill it with water, yeah, to take with her on the journey. So this is you encompassing this energy so that you can go forth along this journey here, okay? We also have thorns. And this is what I feel like you've been walking through. I feel like you've been walking through these thorns and you're coming out now, you've walked away from the, um, you know, you're walking away. This is really, this has really cut you up, actually. Um, and it's time to take this time to replenish, right? And get your balance, find your peace, heal, heal the wounds. Um, but it's interesting because I kind of get the feeling that you've done that. You've done that, um, that healing, you've done like the... <sighs> the scrapes and the cuts that you've received from the thorns, they're there. Uh, they're, they're scars, but they've been healed in order for you to now embark upon a new journey. And um, But it feels vulnerable because you don't want to go to where the thorns were again, and that's understandable, Virgo. So let's have a look. Two cards for thorns for Virgo, please. Two cards for Thorn for Virgo. Okay, we've got three. Okay, so let's have a little look. See here. Hmm. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Swords, we've got the Four of Hearts, and we've got the Prince of Wands. Okay, so great. Um, yeah, just one thing I want to say is try not to focus too long on the scars that have been um, 
that you've got from going through these thorn bushes, okay? Um, because what is for you is, um, is so much better. I, I feel like you, there's this need to have faith in yourself that you, as soon as you see those thorn bushes, you're not going to go back there. You're not going to walk back through them, okay? You're going to find another way along the journey, okay? And the Queen of Swords, she, um, she has the sword, you know, and if there's no other way, she's got the sword to cut through those um, thorn bushes, right? She's not going to allow them to actually hurt her anymore. So this is what I feel like is very important for you. Because maybe you're feeling a little bit vulnerable right now, it could be that you feel as though it, it, you don't quite have this trust within yourself, Virgo, to um, not get into those same situations. But honestly... I'm not getting that here whatsoever. I feel like you've got everything you need to go forth. And um, if you need a little bit more time to do that, then that's okay. But just remember that what, you know, while you're taking this time to replenish, okay, and get your balance, try to get into the state of working out, okay, what, what do I see for my future? Where do I want to head? Because you can do that, you know, start manifesting, start creating, get excited about what is to come rather than sitting in a state of fear um, because you're afraid of making the wrong choice, right? Okay, and the Prince of Wands. Now, the Prince of Wands, he's going, he, you know, he's got his wand there. And I love this because with this Ace of Wand, this is Wands, this is you learning um, a whole new... Um, it could be a hobby, it could be something that you're very, very passionate about, but it's learning a new way of doing things in your life, okay? It's um, learning a new way to use the wand here, okay? And the thing is, it's a wand. You know, magicians have wands to create magic, and this is what is right here for you to do, for you to manifest and create a life that you only ever dreamed of. But you can do this because it's here for the taking. Yeah? So remember that. Remember that you are embarking upon this new journey with a magic wand. Okay? And this is, um, get excited about it. Okay, so we have this card here. Interesting. Just walking up the mountain this could be you know maybe you're trying things out and, and and potentially Virgo not being hard on yourself if you try something out and it doesn't work out it's okay you know there's sort of like this feeling of if I go down this road I have to commit to it and um and this fear of getting that wrong but you can change your mind you can keep on going or you can go back and go down another path, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, what does it say? Gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel. Love it, yes. And this is the thing, when you tap into this heart space, I don't feel like you're going to make a wrong decision. You'll know, you'll absolutely know, okay? Um, but this, this replenishing and balance is needed first. Okay, so two cards for this card, please. Gently place your feet on the path you were meant to travel. Love it. Two cards for Virgo. Excellent. One more card for Virgo. This card. There it is. I don't know what that second one is because it's upside down. But the first one here is reflection. Here, yeah, reflecting. You know, this is this internal reflection because if you look closely here, this beautiful swan, when it looks in the mirror, it sees the ugly duckling, right? And so this is about you looking at yourself in a kind and gentle and loving way because I feel like for some of you, you are looking at yourself like, ugh. And, um, and I really, really do feel like you need to be kinder you know, if you've walked through the thorn bush, don't beat yourself up about that choice of that direction. 
you know, be gentle with yourself. Um, and catch yourself doing that. Okay, catch yourself doing that. If you look in the mirror, for example, okay, and apply this in any which way that you catch yourself out being nasty to yourself. If you look at yourself in the mirror, right, and you think, I'm ugly, okay, the, because that's the natural go-to, that's the wiring in your brain that takes you there, okay, and you don't like what you see, then you say to yourself three times, I am not ugly, I am not ugly, I am not ugly, okay, and rewire that brain. And do that, you know, whatever it is that you're beating yourself up about or being mean to yourself about, okay? So give me two cards for reflection for Virgo, please. Two cards for reflection for Virgo. Because remember, you know, this is at night time. This is the, the moon, right? And the reflection is not, is not reflecting back the true, um, the true image. So always remember that, okay, that not everything is as it seems, and yeah, reflection, two cards, four reflection for Virgo, one, two, what's this first one, king of hearts, love that, yeah, see, he knows, he wouldn't, he wouldn't look in the mirror and do that, he knows how to be loving, he knows how to be caring, okay, um, the, the king also, he knows um, with this replenishing and um, getting the balance, okay, the king, he um, will not spend his energy, um, all of his energy on one thing, okay, he knows what he needs to remain in his cup in order to see him through, and this is exactly what I feel like you need to do, we've got the queen and the king of hearts here, she knows what to fill her cup with, and he knows how to keep it in there, okay, and um, so he will, um, yeah, I think this is important for you to work out what you're spending your energy on, are you spending your energy on beating yourself up, or you are you spending your energy on building yourself up, there's a huge difference, and you really want to be working on building yourself up, not beating yourself up, okay, because we can be our own bully, we can be the nastiest bully to ourselves in the entire world. No, we wouldn't even meet the most horrible, horriblest bully in the world and they would have nothing on us, right? So this is about you having your back here. Okay, and we have the Nine of Pentacles here. I love this. Yep, see, looking at what you're growing. What are you watering that garden with? You know, is it is it a cup full of mud or is it a cup full of pure, clean, crystalline water? Okay, so the next card here we have is Amber. So this could be um, just first off, I'm getting some work on your um, sacral energy, uh, sacral center. Your sacral chakra may need some work here. Okay, um, but also this is this dragonfly which is representative of um, new beginnings and I feel like this new beginning is going to take you to along the path that not just that you're meant to travel but the destination is going to be your natural habitat because I'm seeing the dragonfly here and I don't know, like I always ever only see dragonflies over water. Um, like there, yeah, so I don't know that this dragonfly is in its natural habitat here. But that's the message I'm getting from this. So I feel like this journey and, and the work that you can do um, to, to travel this journey is going to help you reach your natural habitat, which is amazing. Okay, so we've got... I don't like how that just dropped out. Okay, two cards for Amber. Yep, there we go. Three cards, actually. Okay, so we have, yep. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got, um, sorry, we've got the three of swords here. 
yep, this is this feeling, okay, that I was talking about before of to going through the thorns. And then we have the temperance here of getting this balance going on, okay? And, um, you know, really, really going towards your, your purpose, having patience with yourself as well, okay? Um, and, yes, getting also balancing the dark and the light, okay? The shadow self, the things that we don't want to know about or about ourselves or see the things we beat ourselves up for need to be loved the most, okay? And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. What an amazing card to end with here. Virgo, this is what you are heading towards, right? This is what you are growing. Okay, so I love that this has um, been the ending. Because look here, where is it? Look, going up the hill there, you've got the castle on top of the hill. And look at this. This is you reaching the castle. So this is what is there for you. And I love this because you 100% deserve this. And I think you just need to believe that you do. Okay, so yeah. That's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave that with you, Virgo. Take care of your beautiful selves. And one thing I want to say is step into this castle and take your seat upon the throne, okay? Um, because that's what you deserve. Okay, Virgo. See you. Bye-bye.